Okay, so obviously things have changed at Namco Bandai regarding Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and its DLC roadmap. Things have been changed around as far as the schedule of DLC because the movie for Dragon Ball Super Superhero was scheduled to come out last year, which changed the DLC schedule. So now we're going to move the DLC that we were going to be getting next, and this is going to be the cross promotional DLC for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and Dragon Ball Super Superhero. And it's no coincidence that Lab Code 21 just got released a couple of weeks ago for Dragon Ball Fighters. So we're looking at characters that we've been desiring for so long coming to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and Majin 21 and we're looking at some new characters. Now a lot of people in the community are asking whether or not we'll get the new Go Tanks or the new Go Ten and Trunks, you know, the age up forms, oh my god, are we gonna be getting a new Piccolo form, you know? And I'm gonna answer all those questions and more in today's video, so hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, enable all notifications so you get all the anime games content here from the god of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 and anime games, Perfection the Natural Selection. So, uh the DLC that we are going to be getting is obviously going to be Gamma 1, Gamma 2, Majin 21, and an additional character. Now, a lot of people are wondering where Piccolo fits in on all this, and honestly, they've worked themselves. The movie, however, with the press releases, have worked themselves into a bit of a spot because with them describing Piccolo's new form as nothing but uh, ultimate form Gohan or potential unleashed very similar or almost alike to Gohan's form, all they really have to do with Piccolo is just give him a preset with Potential Unleashed on it and give him a unique skin. They already do this in Xenoverse 2 and it's weird because on CACs we get no real visual appearance change, we just get the white aura and, and that's pretty much it. But with Gohan he gets a stance change and he gets a visual change, like he looks a lot more serious, he's standing like a Super Saiyan 3. It's a very different Gohan than what you start out with. So Piccolo is going to work out the same way where he gets Potential Unleashed, he removes the lines from his arms and all that, and he takes on a lighter shade of green, almost yellow. And that's pretty much it. I mean, he's not going to fight differently. He's just going to be like, oh, my power is stronger. And that's pretty much it. So there's no reason to really constitute them making a new character based off that. But what the mystery lies is whether or not Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 are going to fuse in this movie and create an additional character to even out this pack to four. Now, I did not get that information. All I know for sure is that we're getting Maji 21 in Xenoverse 2. So I'm letting you guys know that we are getting a movie DLC pack. We are going to be getting different outfits from the movie as releases. Some of them are going to be raid releases, some of them are going to be PQ quests, and some of the content is obviously going to be in the TP Metal Shop. So let me know what in the comment section down below. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most. Now obviously I don't think Gotenks is going to be wearing anything different. And based upon the promotional material, I think I saw a keychain or something that was promoted. Uh, it's, it, he's not really going to look all that different. Unless we've not seen the correct fusion for Gotenks, I, I don't really see him looking all that different in this movie. I don't think there's going to be a serious form of Gotenks in this movie, truth be told. I don't know spoilers for the movie, but I do know some information that falls in line with Xenoverse 2 and its DLC roadmap. So again, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Who are you hyped for the most? I'm hyped for the most with Majin 21. I hope they go the Dragon Ball Fighters route and add those additional forms like the one with the little cell dots on or the purple one and the one with the, the good eyes with like the green eyes and whatnot and then of course your standard evil Majin form eyes uh, pink Majin 21. That's what I'm hyped for the most, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.